The reason I didn't start a YouTube channel based on veganism or my weight loss thing in the in the past, the reason I didn't was because the vegan community, especially, especially the vegan, all right, so there's like the plant-based community and then there's the vegan community, all right? I, I am not really part of the vegan community. I never did this for animal anything. I still don't. I, I, it, it's not part of me. So like, I guess I am more of the plant-based thing, but so much neuroticness uh, it is crazy to me. I uh, like the comments, the emails, the DMs that I get. I don't know how, I don't know how like, it seems like it becomes your somebody's entire day. Like thinking about reading studies, thinking about lo losing weight. The ones who do it the most seem to be the skinniest. Just an observation. I don't know. I am not part of that whole collective of people. I do say studies once in a while. It just it pops into something or somebody tells me about it, whatever, and might go look at it. I don't know how to be in that frame of mind, nor do I want to be in that frame of mind of needing to constantly be in that world. And I think the more in that world you are, the more you turn it into like your own God or something like that. It, it's it's crazy. It takes it on its like own idol format or, or something that I don't want any part of. I don't want any part of it at all. I got a lot of people coming in the comments, the DMs, uh, sometimes in email about needing animal products. First of all, animals aren't a product. Like I don't, think humans want to be called a product either but they do kind of treat themselves that way i guess now with only fans and stuff so instagram i don't know why there is such a need for for this right like they are literally getting everything that they are eating from plants and then you eat the animals and then your body has to break it down that's a toxic situation it, it creates a lot of toxins which leaches minerals from your bones. It leaches water from your muscles, releasing glycogen into your body. It ages you faster. It shrinks you faster. Like my mom is so much shorter than she used to be. I, I've seen it. If you want that, then go do it. Don't tell me. I like, I, I don't need to know about it. Like, I don't need to know about everybody's like, because it's it's like they they have the same, it's not even the same people, but I hear the same thing all the time yeah bud and it's it's like this thing that you've been sold about this essential amino acid there is one essential thing that's carbohydrates you don't see somebody falling in the middle of a race because they ran out of essential amino acids but you do see somebody falling and almost dying in a race because they ran out of glycogen carbohydrates they don't take you into a hospital and put you on an amino acid drip. They put you on a sugar drip. That's the essential uh, nutrient here, right? And then I was on a, 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 I don't even know what it was, I guess, podcast uh, last Friday. And, you know, like the stuff that even vegans say about sugar, like, I can't, I just, I can't understand. The same person who will make a juice will hate on sugar, even though it's juice grass that just happens to be evaporated. I did an interview with somebody, uh, I guess that was last year, and they even put in the thing after I said sugar isn't bad, that they don't agree with that, even though they make juices all the time. This community is so nuts. It's crazy to me. Like, I, I'm, I am not part of this tribe. I did this because I was dying and I'm telling you my journey. Like I don't adopt things like other people do. I don't, it's just, I, I, I tell people what I do. 
sometimes it works sometimes it, it's it's like that one that guy her cute her cute ha huh. it's like that one guy who cured himself of, of brain cancer or whatever cancer he had by laughing and just having a good time he was he would watch funny movies and he would laugh and he cured himself of brain cancer and then they saw this happen and they they had a bunch of people do this and every single one of them died every single one of them so it worked for him but it didn't work for all the people who are now in casket in the ground so like there's that right this somewhat has worked for me right uh, like it hasn't been perfect by any stretch of the imagination i don't think that somebody should have to cut fat so low like I have been, to lose weight. I think there's something else at play here. I have mentioned this in the past. I have, in the past, had a nodule on my pituitary gland that kind of makes my hormone regulation all over the place. All over the place. So some months or weeks or years, it's fine, and then it'll malfunction. I'm not having somebody go up through my nose and cutting around or giving me pills or whatever the hell they couldn't even figure out what to do with it anyways and the last time i got an mri it wasn't they couldn't even find it anymore so i don't even know if it's there but i do know that i have a pituitary gland that has just as crazy of a mind as i do and maybe that's why my mind is crazy and maybe that's why i am the way i am i don't know if you need to read these studies Go and do it. Now, I, I know I have put out a platform here for talking about this stuff. I appreciate some of it coming on here, right? I, I, like, a pre, like you know, if you give me videos to watch, react to, or whatever, I feel bad for everybody that I see in this. And not to say that I don't go through it, because I was actually going through it earlier today, because I seller size and I, like yesterday I did an hour and I used to have like 36 inch legs around. I liked that, right? I, you know, like if you look at my before and after pictures, you can see how big my legs used to be. And those things were not barely fat at all. It was just the torso that was fat. And now my legs are like 24 inches or something like that. It's like, what happened to Like I lost a foot of girth. That's hard pill to swallow. It is. It really is. Like, I, I, like, but who cares? At some point, this whole garage that you're watching talk right now is going to be in the ground lifeless because it's dead. So I, I don't know how much of my present moment energy I really feel like putting into living in the past with my 36 inch legs or whatever, right? When you really think about some of this stuff, and I'm not saying it's bad. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't have the healthiest body that you possibly could. Because I think it's stupid. We were given, uh, you know, food to eat and everything in a body that can cure itself of just about anything. I think it's stupid to not take advantage of that. I really do. I think it's ridiculous to not take advantage of that, right? And, and like, if you look at prior humans who had a lot, like, more physical labor than we do, though. I mean, really, I mean, face it. They weren't sitting around thinking about this. They didn't have these snacks and stuff like that. And even like if you compare America to Europe, I actually have a lot of family who are extremely lazy, have gone over to Europe, eaten even more fat and carbs and whatever than they eat here, lost weight, came back and gained it. And I know these people. I actually, it's the ones that I'm really thinking of are so lazy and i don't think they watch my videos hopefully they actually got golf carts to go around the zoo the last time we had a family gathering so i know <laughs> that these people were not out hiking or anything when they were in europe they were out there to sample food and drink that's it and they lost they, they visibly lost weight and they gained it back when they came here so there is something in the food supply here. There's a lot of preservatives. There's stuff floating out of the sky. There's a lot going on now that you would not have dealt with. Even in 2016, when I lost weight pretty effortlessly, I have been trying to rack my brain as to why, if I mean, effortlessly. I know I was riding bike and I know I was going uphill, but I do that on the, the seller sizer and I can do bike sprints to kind of emulate going on hills. Because there is a lot of hills here. They're all extremely busy roads. 
They're all death traps. Doesn't matter. I mean, that exercise really should not be the brunt of this. And as far as like, somebody was talking about essential amino acids and stuff like that. I mean, in the B12 thing, B12 comes from dirt. B12 is not come from animals. B12 comes from the bacteria in the gut of the animal. So if you prefer to eat the B12 from the gut of an animal over doing a B12 supplement, then I guess do that. I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm like, and minerals do not come from animals. They come from the dirt. They come from the earth. That's where they come from. If somebody's going to mine aluminum or going to mine, I don't know, zinc, going to mine anything for anything anymore, I don't really see them mining inside a cow. They go into the earth and they pull it out of the earth mining minerals mining so it's not you're not getting minerals you're not getting any of this stuff from animals and actually eating that stuff is detrimental to the body i think i already talked about that in in every way in every way it's it's toxic your body leeches its own self to neutralize this so <clears throat> What we can devise from this video here, do what you want to do, like, right? You know, like if you always are thinking about this, go try it out, go try it out, see how it goes. I don't need, you know, everybody in this community seems to need permission, even myself included. Like I'll start texting people. It's ridiculous. I'll start texting people about kind of st stuff like this. I'm no better than anybody else. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I don't understand. I don't know if this is fat person syndrome. I don't know what this is. Like you need permission. And I think a lot of people who diet are also people who feel like they need permission to eat a certain way. And they feel like the durian rider of the world is watching you at all times with some kind of binocular, like he's God now, like he's, he's watching everybody or Santa Claus, he, 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 you know, he know, he can see, you know, like when you've been naughty and nice, right? Nobody is watching you. No one cares. If you want to do this other stuff, fine. I don't know why, I don't know why there's like this fish obsession too. Like, they're like, I won't, I won't eat animals, but I'll, I'll have fish. Like fish have more mercury than anything else. They won't eat rice because of the arsenic, but they're fine eating tuna or whatever out of a can that has like mercury oozing out of it. Make this make sense to me. I don't understand some of the stuff that people will do. I don't get it. Like one of the people I was actually supposed to interview uh, last, I don't know, probably around this time last year, uh, she all of a sudden, you know, became like a, 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 a fish of war. Like, like all she was eating was fish. I'm like, you know, I just canceled the interview. I'm like, I, I don't, I don't need the comment section. I don't need any of this. She was healed from fish. I worked in that industry. I saw, I saw a lot. Like when you see a lot of this stuff, when you see what actually goes on in food distribution, there's certain things that you just won't eat anymore after you see it. Anyway, I wasn't going to make a video today, but here we are. I made it. I'm not even mad. Just in whatever. I guess it's partly what I'm actually going through, what somebody I know is going through, some of the comments that I get, the emails I get, the DMs I get. And I actually kind of start feeling bad for all of us because we're all lunatics. Like, we're all crazy. Like, you have to be crazy, I feel like, to think about diet and stuff like that all day long. And it keeps you in that position all day long, I feel like. Anyway, if you made it this far, give it a like dislike do whatever you want comments like always down below share the video i don't even know who who are you gonna share this video to i don't know i just don't know what to say about it anymore like i'm doing my best i get called a liar all the time like you're such a liar like i know you're eating like a cow every day or whatever fine i haven't told a durian rider i said i'll give you my address if you want to stop by at, unannounced at any time see what i'm eating there is something different about the food even from eight years ago in 2016, when I lost, I mean, it was effortless. I was still eating cookies and stuff like that. Avocados, still coming off. Actually, I was, now that I think about it, I was going real hardcore strict. I had just come across Durian Rider again, 
in 2016. I completely forgot he ex existed. I had, and all right, so chain of events. I had just found this chiropractor. He was, he, the first time I went to see him, I got the typical, you're pretty big, you know, fat, obese, whatever. I was like 275. No, actually I was thinking I was two like 85 or something like that, which is like my body's like natural weight. It goes to 285. It's like head a line, B lines to 285. And um, he's like, you probably should start riding bike. So I said, all right, you know, this ain't working. I got, I want to get a little bit of weight off. I love riding bike. I'll go buy a bike and uh, we'll go from there. And just because of that, I happened to come across Durian Rider again. And he was talking about sugar, 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 sugar. And I went super strict on it, super strict for the first like month ish. And I did start losing weight uh, in my legs. I was cycling um, like three, three days a week or something, something like that. Uh, like he told me like eight miles, you know. Um, night chiropractor and I was riding and um, I'm like, I feel like I'm getting skinny fat or something. I was real bloated. I was having a lot of retention. I'm actually going through that right now, actually, because I upped my uh, cellar sizer routine. And he's like, dude, you're just not eating enough. He's like, there's no way that you should not be, you know. So I started eating more and I'm like, I cannot get enough carbohydrates now. So I started adding Cliff Bars in and um, I started having avocado again. And that is when actually my weight loss started. Like really, like in high gear. I don't, I, maybe it was just because of the extra calories. I don't know. I didn't do a study. All I know was I had people coming up to me that I didn't even know who apparently used to, uh, would see me often. I'm not one of these people that like, it's, it's weird. I watch people. I'm like a people watcher, but I don't really pay attention enough to know who they are uh maybe it's this asshole disorder i don't know but like um and it was crazy and, and like it, it seemed like the more whatever i wanted that i added it in the more the weight just like was falling off like you know like crazy and then when i get super strict again is when i start having issues i don't know we'll see how this month goes i'm gonna stick on this plan, I haven't had any added fats whatsoever. I don't know. I think everybody comes to this uh, point. They just don't make a video about it, but here we are. It is a confu it's a confusing thing. It really is. It's The whole thing's confusing. Talking to the next one. I know this was a weird video, but they can't all be gems.